Michael Saylor explains Bitcoin rules. Oh, I bet this is going to be brilliant. A nice in-depth tweet that's amazing and bullish for Bitcoin. Let's just check this out. Bitcoin is rules without rulers. I've been in the crypto space for probably about seven years now. And what we'll say is we've never really been at a time where it's been so massively adopted, but can still go in either direction very, very easily. OK, we're talking about a crossroads for Bitcoin right now that could literally change the future of not just Bitcoin, but crypto as a whole. Today, we're going to go through the market overview, determining what's bullish or bearish with Bitcoin and the whole crypto market, as well as all of the long term, mid term and short term trades that I'm looking for. So let's just jump into this. And without further ado, please like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you're thinking of the markets and let's get going. All right. So kicking things off with the news here, there's pretty much nothing. There's nothing here. It's trash. It's all trash. We've got a Telegram update on the CEO who's stuck in jail. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, everything else is just pretty much just a, a weird day for news. Nothing really that's going to affect Bitcoin or the whole markets. If we go on to the whole markets and the general altcoin space, we can see dogs down 28%. We talked about this in the last video. We said, hey, uh, with an airdrop dropping to millions of people, you are going to get a lot of sell pressure. That is coming into fruition right now. Besides that, everything is playing out a pullback based on obviously Friday's news with, uh, yes, Kennedy backing Trump and then causing that market pump. And uh, yeah, now we're just pulling back from that point. If we're looking at fear and greed index, we are down to a 48. This is the zone I, I kind of like. I like this zone quite a lot, actually. Uh, it's actually the zone you want for an uptrend to start. So if we can hold around this kind of middle zone, it's not going to be too greedy where we liquidate everyone, right? It's not going to be too fearful where uh, you just don't know what's going to happen, whether we're going to have a swan event or anything like that, right? So this is kind of the, the sweet spot, the Goldilocks zone you want to be with fear and greed. If we're looking at ETFs here, we are seeing dirty GBTC. Um, actually not having any outflows yesterday, which is pretty good. Okay, that's it's a start. Okay, now we just got to get rid of this sea of red uh, from them. But we see Ibit banging in 200 mil here, uh, basically making up all of the uh, the inflows here uh, for yesterday. And again, another $200 million day. This is extremely bullish for Bitcoin. Do not sleep on the ETF data. I know it's boring. It's a chart. It looks lame. All right. But this is what matters right now, because this is what's going to dry up all that supply for us to go absolutely monumentally parabolic. If we are looking at energy value here, we are seeing that at 81K. I know it's difficult to see, but all you need to know here is that if we get above this line, it's parabolic, okay? And Bitcoin goes to the moon, literally to the moon, okay? Uh, and we can see that currently, obviously, price is around the low 60s. But uh, yes, if we can get above that 80K mark, I know it seems far away, but if we can get above it, that's the time. If you've got big money, you're looking to invest, this is the time. Like, this is the zone in which you want to get over, okay? 80K, and then we we push that to 100k and then you made 20% on your investment in probably about two weeks. OK, so look out for this one. Stay tuned for updates on this as well. If we're looking at electricity consumption index, this is how much money the miners are spending on Bitcoin, okay, or mining Bitcoin. We can see here that, yes, we did get an uptick yesterday. This is looking extremely bullish, but uh, yes, we have a long way to go until it's a weekly uptick. When we do get that weekly uptick, though, that's really a great signifier that Bitcoin's about to bang it. So look out for this one. Uh, nothing as of yet, but uh, some good data to show that it is potentially turning around here. If we are looking at liquidation heat map here, guys, we can see that everyone just banged in longs in this last pump. They have all been destroyed. The disgusting, dirty degenerates uh, have been liquidated yet again here on this pullback. You can see billions of dollars just getting swiped up by those market makers. Now they just got to pump up and then liquidate all the people that decided to short here, right? Fantastic stuff. Uh, and should you be long or short here, guys, I will explain that in a minute. So stay tuned for that because it's a very crucial area for Bitcoin. And if you're not patient and if you are not waiting for certain criteria, you will get destroyed here, okay? So we will be putting out a paid signal and a free signal on Patreon as well. So if you want the free signal, you just press follow. No payment required. Literally just sign in with Google, press follow. You get a free signal every weekday. It's it's a no brainer. OK, it's a no brainer. And this one is just about to play out. So, uh, yeah, get over there right now. It's in the description. Let's jump in to... <laughs> 
All right, long term here, guys, we can see that we are actually inside this wedge structure. This is something that we did target yesterday. We said we wanted a red candle yesterday to confirm this upper trend line. That has now come into fruition. That is good. That means we get trades. That means we make money. And that means... I mean, there's a reason to come to this channel again, okay? What we're saying here, what we're saying here is there's two measure moves on this beautiful wedge structure. Uh, if we do look at this, we can see, yes, uh, if we are targeting a short, we want to be targeting from this wick low here. I know yesterday I said here, but I've, I've, I've re-evaluated at this point, and I, I'm, I'm saying if we lose 60k, okay? If we lose 60k, so 59.8, there is a 2% trade down to the bottom of the measure move. Okay, this could play out today. This could play out tomorrow. This could play out next week. But the point being, when this does play out, we make money, all right? Uh, what we're looking for here is a 2% trade. Again, just down from 59.8 to 58.5, okay? As a fly just completely just ruins my thought pattern. Why? Why? Uh, we can see here as well towards the upside, uh, this is actually a different uh, thing here. Actually, no, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, so yeah, if we do head down here, uh, we will actually have a smaller measure move as this wedge does tighten. Uh, we will be looking for a potential trade from roughly around 65.5. Okay, so roughly this breakdown point here. Okay, uh, the longer you leave this, the better in terms of um, reliability of the trade. So we'll be looking from 55.6, 55.5, uh, all the way up here for, first of all, 1% trade to this trend line. That'll be a fantastic take profit. Um, and then if it does want to smash through into what, what I call the trap zone here, where we can actually wick into if, and still reject, okay, then I will be looking for take profits uh, at basically any of these, uh, any of these kind of wick candle highs or candle body closes or opens uh, in these areas that we've seen previously uh, as the take profits. Uh, and then hopefully we can get between roughly like a 3% and a 4% trade here coming through. So that is the measure move towards the upside. Just to summarize the long term here, guys, we're looking for a trade from 59.8 down and we're looking for a, a long here uh, from 65.7 up, okay? Just playing out this uh, this confirmed wedge structure now, okay? Uh, if we are zooming out here, there are bigger swing trades here, okay? So don't go anywhere, all right? We've got the midterm and the short term coming up as well. So uh, stick around, mate, all right? We can see here that, uh, yes, we do still have this measure move, which is fantastic here. Uh, that's going from one side to the other of the larger structure that we're in right now. Okay, so if we do break above 71K, we will be looking for that trade upwards to about 79K, and we will be taking profit along the way here uh, specifically the, the main take profit will be at that all-time high of course right uh, towards the downside here guys is uh pretty far away unless we get a major black swan event but uh yes we're looking from roughly around 49.3 where this recent low is okay and we'll be looking to trade that down to the trend line that will be a fantastic little five percent trade here coming through into this next kind of structural zone but i will say here just in terms of a general uh, opinion guys we do have this trend line coming up i don't expect to go below that trend line and if we do i expect it to be a very short period of time uh, if we do actually go below this trend line though guys uh, uh, it's really, it's not irrecoverable, but it looks pretty bad if we go pretty much below 40k. If we go below 40k, then it's looking like a much longer term range here that we could be playing out uh, between, I would say, 50k and, and 35, 34k, that kind of zone, right? So just keep an eye on that one. If it is going to be a major event, there's going to be massive, massive trades here. This is not necessarily a negative thing, guys. There'll be lots of money to be made here. And uh, as you can see right now, we're kind of uh, in no man's land in terms of the bigger ranges here on the regressional growth curve. So uh, and if you don't know what the aggressional growth curve is, guys, Bitcoin just stays within this range throughout its entire history. OK, so we can expect that to happen again. But the trades are easier in terms of long term investments if we are closer to one side of that range. Right. So if we are up at 300K Bitcoin, yes, we should be looking for shorts. OK, if we are down at 30K Bitcoin, we should be looking for longs. If we're in the middle ground, it's more of it's a different strategy. Right. But in terms of investment, Bitcoin is generally a good buy around these zones, all right, uh, around the 30K zone or really under 40K uh, if you are here for the long term, okay? If we're moving it down here, let's move it down to the midterm. Nobody has signed up for Prime XBT. They give you $100 and nobody signed up. I don't understand. Why is this happening? Maybe they've already got exchanges. Maybe they just don't like free money. 
So if we are going to look at this, we have just absolutely obliterated over the last day. Okay, we have hit this 15 minute volume weighted ATR band multiple times on the four hour. So what I will say here is it's quite likely we do actually get a bounce here, not just because of this, but because we haven't retested this beautiful trend line here. I know this looks super messy, so we are we are going to get rid of this real quick. Okay, but uh, yes, if we are looking at this, we can see this trend line coming through from our pump. Okay, we've tested it here. We didn't really get a bounce. We broke through it. We haven't really retested it. So what I would be expecting here is some kind of curling over and then co coming up here uh, to retest that trend line as well as retest the 15 minute volume weighted ATR band. Okay, so uh, yes, uh, this is really what I'm expecting more midterm. But uh, yes, if, if, if the market wants to absolutely bang it down, then we do have targets towards the downside as well. So what we're looking for towards the downside as we talked about uh, previously. And uh, yeah, this was our kind of previous signal as well. Okay, so uh, we were looking for like a 1% trade here. Okay, but now this 15 minute has come down quite a bit. So this trade is slightly less valid, but uh, if you if you were gonna be if you were gonna be pushing for it, okay, if you're an audacious fellow, uh, you could probably target this as a take profit, move your stop loss to entry, and then uh, have the final take profit at this trap zone, kind of descending trend line coming through here down to 61.5. All right, this is a bit more of a risky trade. I would prefer to be taking this long here, but uh, if if everything kind of aligns nicely, then we will be potentially looking for this trade. All right, but we need to be below the 15 minute volume weighted ATR band. Okay. Okay. And uh, obviously, we need this to be a decent enough move where uh, we can take majority of the profit here uh, around these high levels so we can beat the fees on this transaction here. But uh, what I will say with this is, yes, if you did just want to take this trade, this is enough of a percentage to make money on. OK, so we will be uh, I will still be trying to target this if it is going to be something a little bit more like this. Right. Uh, and yeah, if you have VIP three on these exchanges, this will be fine. You won't be destroyed by fees if you use a low leverage, you won't be destroyed by fees, right? But if you use higher leverages, uh, this is probably less of a viable trade for you. All right, let's move down to the absolutely disgusting DGEN zone. Okay, the DGEN zone here, we can see that, yes, it has been ridiculously volatile. Okay, we can see this; these candles are just disgusting. I have not seen this kind of stuff on Bitcoin in a while. All right, this is really nasty. This is really nasty. This is really showing that uh, these market makers are having a field day. They are liquidating everyone, just going up and down. No problem here, okay? Uh, some of these candles, right, you can see these are like 1% ranges all the way down. It's really disgusting here to see this. But uh, again, we're not really trading down here, so it's fine. Look for those longer term and uh, and mid term of areas if you are looking for trades because this is this is nasty guys this is really nasty but if you, if uh, if we are looking at this in terms of measure moves we did have some sort of measure move down here all right that has now played out we have also had a pullback if this does want to drop lower then uh yes we're looking at these kind of zones and this is again super degen these trades do not work out a lot of the time but if you are going to push me for them this is what i'll say and you're looking at like a 55 60 percent win rate in this kind of zone all right but if we do head down Okay, we do head down. What we'll be looking to do is actually reclaim this 15 minute volume weighted ATR band after heading down. All right, so after we've head down here, if we do lose this, okay, something like this. Okay, one, there is a small trade you could be targeting here. Okay, between these two. All right, so this is the 200 EMA and the 200 SMA. Uh, but after we reclaim that 15 minute, you could probably just based on the range here on the way down, you could probably find a 1% trade after reclaiming this uh, 15 minute volume weighted ATR band, right? Uh, and obviously hitting these bad boys first, right? So hitting the, the 200 EMA and the 200 SMA on the hourly first, okay? And then after that, if we reclaim the 15 minute, there will be a pretty nice rebound from an overextended Bitcoin price compared to the moving averages, right? So uh, yeah, playing that gap is actually not too bad, but again, very, very risky. Um, there is the, the possibility here that if we do dump down here, it just absolutely obliterates. Okay, so watch for that 15 minute. That's gonna be a crucial time. Also watch for any kind of descending trend lines here you can see uh, that will be broken at the same time all right and then just fill that gap with the money okay fill that gap with the profit okay that is going to be it from me have a fantastic day if you could if you did make it this far guys be sure to like the video it helps me out a lot leave a comment if you did see the secret giveaway code and i'll see you in the next video peace out goodbye from me Hamilton. everyone just banged in longs the dirty <laughs> Okay. <laughs>